impromptu. Esau's blessing is carnal and temporal. Our blessing is unique and eternal. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashon Yahweh Shai. And in this sit down lesson, you know, I'm going to be going into the two major blessings of the Holy Scriptures. You have the carnal blessing, which is the sword, and then you have the unique blessing, which is spiritual power. Now, don't get me wrong so-called white man does have some form of spiritual power on the left hand side through his technology but it still do not change the fact that his technology is carnal it was made with carnal hands now the israelites which are the so-called negroes latinos and native indians are blessing our blessing is not created from carnal or fleshly hands. Our blessings, which is spiritual power, comes from the Heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahawashai. So spiritual power comes from a spiritual being, spiritual beings known as Yahweh or Yahawashai. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father and his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, in which they are both dark skinned men with white woolly hair, and they are austere men, men of war. So our blessing really comes from the spirit realm, spiritual power, you know. You might say, what is spiritual power? Well, spiritual power is manipulation of the elements, which is done by, generally by your spirit. Now, as I've said before, if you're an Israelite, your, your blessing is spiritual power. And that spiritual power is a gift that is given to you from the Heavenly Father through His Son. And, you know, the spiritual power is activated through, through the Lord allowing your spirit to, to, to channel those elements through your body using your spirit. That's why it's called spiritual power. Manipulation, manipulation of the elements can be anything. You can teleport, you can blend in with the wind and be invisible. You can be at, at, with spiritual power. You can become as a shadow on the ground you can you can disappear and in, into other dimensions and reappear back in this dimension you can you can bend and, and twist anything you can bend and twist wood metal iron steel uh you know <laughs> i mean you can stop time you can slow down time you can freeze time you can teleport <clears throat> you can create tornadoes cause lightning storms you can you know, you can make the air become as fire if you wanted to. You no, know, you can turn into fire. You could turn into ice. You could turn into lightning. You can become as the earth. Like there's many, and, and that 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 that's just that's just using spiritual power on a low level. Okay, when 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 the Lord's elect of the nation of Israel get those extraterrestrial bodies. They're going to be able to use 100% of their brain. So I'm just giving you some examples of, of how the Lord's elect is going to be able to use spiritual power on a low level. And that's because we are in these chains of darkness. So we're not able to use 100% of our brain. I believe we're using like only 25 to 35% of our brain. 
at most. So our blessing as Israelites, it comes from the heavenly father through his son, which is what spiritual power and Esau's blessing is what the sword, which is a, a carnal blessing created by men, created by the hands of men. So Genesis 27 verse 30, I'm gonna start here. And it came to pass as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, <clears throat> okay, and Jacob was yet scarce gone from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. Now, when you see Esau here in the Holy Scriptures, that's talking about so-called white people starting with the so-called elites trickling down to their to their to the to the rest of their nation of people. Okay, Esau is talking about so-called white people starting with the so-called elites trickling down to the rest of their nation of people. And Esau is also called Edom in the Holy Scriptures. So uh, Edomite is a descendant of Esau. So you better understand. So-called white people are the biblical Edomites. Starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to the rest of to the rest of their nation of people. Genesis 27, verse 31. And he also had made savory meat and brought it unto his father. And said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn <laughs> Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly. And the reason why Isaac trembled very exceedingly was because he gave Esau's blessing to his brother Jacob. Even though it was already set up in the spirit, the Lord was going to have to play out that way. Plus, <clears throat> You also have to see it this way too. Remember when 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 uh, Esau was Cain? Before Cain was reincarnated as Esau, remember what Cain did in the book of Genesis? I believe the the um I think it's the the uh, I can't remember. It might be the third or the fourth chapter. But in Early on in the book of Genesis, Cain murdered his brother Abel, and he never paid, you know, he, he never paid for committing murder. And then he lied to the Heavenly Father on top of that. So this man unjustly took his brother's life out of envy, strife, and jealousy. And he never paid for those crimes as Cain. So when he came back in the reincarnation as Esau, the Lord punished his ass. The, the, the Lord punished Cain when he came back as Esau by, by, by giving his birthright to Jacob, who through the spirit that we know to be Abel in the reincarnation, uh, Abel is, uh, Jacob is Abel in the reincarnation. You know, the, the, the Lord punished Cain when he came back in the reincarnation as Esau by, by, by um, giving Jacob the birthright as well as the blessing. Okay, which the birthright uh, is the uh, kingdom of heaven. You know that the, the blessings is what? You know, uh, um, you know, all nations bowing down to us and being kings and rulers over these other nations. Now, of course, you know, the scriptures, the scriptures is going to tell you that Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing, but Esau don't understand. Before heaven and earth was created, the birthright and the blessings of the kingdom of heaven was given to us from the beginning, before heaven and earth was created. So Esau basically had our birthright and our blessing. No, 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 no. So, so Esau basically had our birthright. But the Lord set it up to where he was going to give it to Jacob anyway. So Esau, Esau was basically handing us back our birthright. <clears throat> because the Lord, before heaven and earth was created, the Heavenly Father, 
the Heavenly Father already had it planned out who was going to be his chosen people and who was ultimately going to be rulers of the kingdom of heaven. But the Lord wanted it to play out this way by, by giving Esau the birthright. So, so Esau could have a profound reason to hate us, even until this day. So his nation of people could have a profound reason to hate us, even until this day. So Isaac trembled very exceedingly because he gave uh, uh, <laughs> he gave Esau's blessing to Jacob, and Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, "Who?" Where is he that have taken venison and brought it me? And I have eaten all before thou camest and have blessed him. Yea, he shall be blessed. He shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. Okay, so again, the blessings and the kingdom of heaven was ours before kingdom of heaven was created. The, 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 before heaven and earth was created, the blessings and the birthright of the kingdom of heaven belonged to us from the beginning. But the Lord wanted, wanted the, the story to play out this way. The Lord wanted Esau to have our birthright just so he could give our birthright to Jacob. The Lord wanted it to be set up to where Esau was going to be punished by losing his blessing as well for murdering his brother in his passion reincarnation. So the Lord already had this all planned out from the beginning. So the birthright and the blessings of the kingdom of heaven belonged to us before heaven and earth was created. And he said, and Isaac said, your brother, thy brother, came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, is, is not he rightly named Jacob? I mean, well, no shit. Jacob's the only brother you got. I mean, who else was he talking to, Esau? I mean, who else was he talking about, Esau? Well, anyways... And he said, it's not he rightly named Jacob, for he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, boo-hoo, and behold, now he have taken away my blessing. And he said, has, has thou not reserved a blessing for me? <laughs> and Isaac answered and said unto Esau, behold, I have made him your Lord. And all his brother have I given and all and all his brethren have I given to him for servants that also includes you too Mr. Esau Edom you're going to be our servants you, 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 you're, 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 you're going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven okay you're going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven so get ready for slavery boy and with corn and wine have I sustained him and what shall I do now unto thee my son and Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Now, when you read the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, who's ruling the earth today? The so-called white man, starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to their to the rest of their nation of people. They're the ones who have control over the planet Earth today. That's why there's all these wars and civil unrest and people in the morning and fishes beaching themselves and all these animals and, and all the sufferings just going on with the planet. Fracking and harp and, and unrighteous decrees and kingdoms being ruled in wickedness because the wicked has control over the earth. Which are who? 
with the nation of Edo, starting with the so-called elites on down. So behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. You know, and you know, it's, it's interesting how, because they have a weapon called, they have a, a weapon that goes by the acronym of dew, which is um, an acronym for a direct energy weapon. Kind of like what they showed you in that movie, Mr. Invincible. If, if that's even the uh, the name of that, that cartoon that came out where he tried to zap this one dude. He was wearing this cape and he had on the superhero outfit. Esau tried to zap him with his satellite and that shit had no effect on him. But yeah, that dude, that's that direct energy weapon. Okay. Which is going to be controlled from satellites, nonetheless. And by thy sword. So this is a part of Esau's blessing. Okay. The, the blessing that Isaac, his father, gave him. And by thy sword shalt thou live. And shalt serve thy brother. So, so... So in the last days, it was prophesied that the so-called white man was going to live by the sword. And by thy sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion <coughs> that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, which that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. So he said in his mind, the days of mourning of my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So, you know, their blessing is the sword, man. You no, know, the sword and the fatness of heaven. And that's why when you go to YouTube, you see the, these, these incredible weapons created by carnal hands incredible weapons like what the harp program that's a part of the so-called white man's sword the dew of heaven that's a part of the, the so-called white man's sword you know the, those satellites that can shoot lasers at you and shit you know, the um the these nuclear bombs that's a part of the so-called white man's sword so by thy sword shall he live but the main the main sword which is most commonly talked about amongst Esau's blessing is the gun. And it could be any kind of gun. It could be a handgun, it could be a Glock, it could be a pistol, it could be a Desert E, it could be a Tech 9, it can it could be an assault rifle, a light machine gun, a hunting rifle, a sniper rifle, it could be a rocket launcher. It, you know, it can be a machine gun, a submachine gun. Okay, these are uh, these these the the gun is the main blessing of the so-called white man. Okay, that's what he was blessed with. But he was blessed with the sword. Which, which is a, a carnal and temporal weapon. Because in the kingdom of heaven, there ain't gonna be no such thing as no gun. Okay, Romans chapter eight, verse 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it? Right. And you got Israelites out there that are hoping and, you know, they're going to gun ranges, you know, they're, they're, they're practicing with shotguns and, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> they're practicing with handguns and all this other shit. It's like, bro, 
the gun is not your blessing. The gun is the so-called white man's blessing. <clears throat> Therefore, Father Esau was blessed with the sword, which the modern day sword is the gun. You know, if you are Israelite, you should know by now that your blessing is spiritual power. Just watch movies like Axemen, movies like uh, Man of Steel. <clears throat> You know, watch movies like Final Fantasy, having children. Final Fantasy versus uh, 13, the, 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 the uh, original Final Fantasy versus 13 trailers. That's spiritual power, man. All that is spiritual power. You see? So what you see in front of you is not hope, man. Okay. Our hope lies in that which we see not. Now, can we see the Heavenly Father? No. Can we see His Son? No. Can we, can we, can we feel, hear, or, or smell them? No. But we know they're there. And, and through faith, through, through faith, you know, we 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 have faith that you know they're going to deliver us in these last days, especially if we continue to do the work. <clears throat> See, <clears throat> one moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, but it says, but if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Then do we with patience wait for it. <laughs> All right. So your your hope should, if you're Israelite, your hope should be in the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, because who's going to feed us, Lord's will if we're of the elect? When Jacob's trouble comes, the Lord is. <clears throat> okay, the Lord said that his servants shall eat. Now, <clears throat> I can't, I'm not gonna, you know, I can't predict everybody's predicament or what kind of situation the Lord's gonna put you in, but just know that whatever situation the Lord put you in, he can also deliver you out of it. Okay, the scriptures tell you that the Lord will not tempt you beyond that which you are able to bear, but with the temptation will make a way for you to escape that ye might be able to bear it. Okay. So, uh, let me see. So let's scroll up here. All right. Um. So let's, let's get that in a second. And I'm, I'm not sure, so I'll just type in verse 12. Pretty sure I'll just find it. Okay. So, um... 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 For though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh. Okay? We don't war after the flesh. Okay? <clears throat> now, you know, the nation of Edom wars after the flesh. Why? Because their, their blessing is carnal. You know, and also let me say this, because the so-called the so-called white man's blessing can only bring death and destruction, but our blessing have the power to create life as well as destruction. Okay, it's just like uh, what the, the 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 angels said in the book of Genesis. Behold, he has become as one of us, knowing good and evil. So, as an Israelite, our blessing, 
you know, through spiritual power, which is given from on high, from the Heavenly Father through His Son, our blessing, which is spiritual power, have the ability to create life, preserve life, as well as destroy life. But the so-called white man, who only who can only know to do evil, his blessing can only bring destruction. Okay. And the fact that that our blessing, which is spiritual power, can create life or, or cause death, that's what you call a perfect balance. Okay. You have the you have life, which is the light, and then you have death, which is darkness. That that's a balance. You see, and uh, when you read Proverbs chapter eleven, verse one. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just get it real quick. Proverbs chapter eleven, verse one. Let me just read it real quick. Okay, it says, "A false balance is abomination to the Lord." Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, but a just way is his delight. So a peaceful way, because when you look up this word just, it goes back to the Hebrew word shalom, which means peace. So a peaceful way, a righteous weight is his delight. So the Lord himself deals with balance. So the, does the so-called white man deal with balance? No. All he does is bring death and destruction through through his blessing, which is the sword. So now let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The weapons of our warfare are not fleshly. Because we don't war after the flesh. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You see, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalts of itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Okay, so, I mean, that's all I pretty much wanted to, to read there. Now, let's go to the book of Ephesians chapter 6. Start at 4. Well, I, I believe it's 4, but I could be wrong. So I just had to wait and see here. Okay. So bear with me for one moment. Okay, so um, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren... Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Right. Because what, what did the Lord say? Wait ye upon him to the day that he rise up to the prey. Okay. It says, put on the whole armor of God that ye might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And you're not going to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil through carnality, okay? How are you going to protect yourself against the wiles uh, of the devil being carnal? You know, when it comes to dealing, when it comes to dealing with the wiles of the devil, you have to come back to the devil on a spiritual level. Why? Because our blessing is spiritual, not carnal. So the devil has to be battled when it comes to battle, battling against the wiles. The 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 uh, I believe that that word wiles there is is, is scandalio or scandalios. Me uh re, me 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 re look into this word again. It was me, me, mephadia, mephadia, 
Okay, Mafidia. Okay, uh, which is where you get the word method from. As you can see right there, the word method appears in this Greek word. Strong's G, 3180, Methodia. Methodia. Methodia, cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. Okay. Now, concerning that word cunning right there, right? Doesn't it not tell you in the book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, that Esau was a cunning hunter of the field? So, when it comes to dealing with this devil and, and, and his trickery, especially through his media, you know, through 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 his news source, through through this this info that he puts out there, you have to fight against the devil on a spiritual level. Okay, because it, it is through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai that this man's kingdom is going down through us prophesying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Why? Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but against principalities, against powers. Okay? Principalities. And, you know, when you look up principalities, that's going into what? That's going into demonic forces against powers. Okay? Powers and another word for powers is what gods, you know, we're wrestling against gods here guys that men we're talking about Edomite men that that walk around with a godlike complex we're talking about the so-called elites against powers Against the rulers of of the darkness of this world who are the rulers of the darkness of this world the nation of Edom Starting with the so-called elites, trickling down to their rest, to the rest of their nation of people. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that ye may be able to upstand in evil day, and having done all to stand. Now. Let's go to Isaiah because there's no way to take this man down carnally. As you can see, Satan is clearly dealing with this man and the Lord has um has given this man the Lord has given this man great power. That great sword, which is what? The uh, nuclear missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, which can carry up to multiple uh, nuclear warheads at a time. So, it's going to take our blessing, which is spiritual power, which is given from Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, and, and is given as a gift to, 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 to the Israelites, starting with the elect. Okay, through spiritual power, we're going to take this man out of, and through, through spiritual power, uh, are, 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 are we going to take this man out of power? But that's going to start with when Yahweh Shai come back. Okay? So when so when Yahweh Shai makes his return, he's he he's he's going to get the first slice of the cake, okay? He's going to be the one to ultimately take the so-called white man out of power. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back as an angelic force. And guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to have spiritual power. So, um, so the only way for this man to go down is through spiritual power. That's going to start with when Yahweh Shai come back. Okay, um, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29. He giveth power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. 
Okay, even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. So that means that certain brothers are going to have the ability to fly. They shall run and not be weary, like like what they show you with the Flash, and that um the, the you know the uh, some of these um DC comic movies like the Flash. You see how fast the Flash can run? This dude can run forever and not get tired. So they shall run and not be weary. So on that day, ain't nobody, ain't no member of the elect is going to get tired from running, okay? They shall walk and not faint. You see? You're going to be able to walk for miles and never get tired. And that's going to happen in this time, in this time frame, in this generation. No. <laughs> and uh, just to let you brothers know, chariots are spiritual vehicles. No. So. No. Yeah, yeah. When the Howard shot come back, man, he he's gonna take these devils out of power. He's gonna shoot laser beams on on, on, on these devils and <laughs> burn their kingdom down. You know, like I said, Yahweh Shai is going to have spiritual power. But, but he but, but he, he is going to shoot laser beams on all these devils. And he's also going to bring deliverances. Okay? Around that time, the Lord's elect is going to be delivered. Let's see, Jeremiah. Let's see. Chapter 51. I, I I can't remember. I don't know if it's the 50th chapter or the 51st chapter. Just okay. So this is the book of Jeremiah. I just had it. Yeah, I could find it quicker this way. I, I I'm not about to just sit here. Okay, so this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter fifty-one, verse twenty. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Okay, so so the the Lord is calling his elect men his spiritual weapons. Because the Heavenly Father, he don't fight with, with carnal weapons. He's a spiritual being. Okay? If the Heavenly Father was to touch a carnal weapon, don't you know that weapon would instantly disintegrate? So the Heavenly Father's weapons are spiritual. Okay? So Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. So the Lord is calling his elect men his spiritual weapons. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Okay? And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. That can only be possible through spiritual power. Through the Lord's elect having spiritual power. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. The horse and his rider could be talking about tanks. It could be talking about MRAPs. It could be talking about uh, uh, whatever kind of military vehicle that, that, that travels on ground. So with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. That's only going to be possible through spiritual power. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Okay, the chariot, the chariot. What is that talking about? It's talking about flying vehicles like warplanes, drones, uh, stealth, uh, stealth bombers, stealth planes. Okay, so, so, so the Lord's elect is literally going to be flying throughout the sky, zapping planes and stealth choppers and drones out of the air with fireballs and lightning orbs and and through through um through <laughs> I don't know. Uh, shock waves made from pure light who knows man but we know that the Lord's elect is going to be doing those things in that time 
they're gonna be destroying military tanks and MRAPs and all that with 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 I don't know with shadows with 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 with, with um, shadowy orbs of darkness, you know, just tornadoes, elements, you know. So it says, with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. The shepherd and his flock. You, you, you false pastors and you false Israelite groups out there, you're going to be judged when that time comes. And, and with thee will I break in pieces the husband man and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces uh, captains and rulers and I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight saith Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai okay so through spiritual power you know that the Lord is going to give his elect men you know in Salakia I'm not saying I'm of the elect I'm speaking of the Lord's elect whosoever they may be out there because the Lord is going to give, give His elect men spiritual power to 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 uh, destroy these martial law troops, to destroy these different troops of these different militaries, like like the Russian military, the Chinese military. The Lord is going to give His elect men spiritual power to to destroy the um to 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 destroy these different military men and and women in the military, the Chinese military, the Russian military. The American military, the European military. So the Lord's elect of the nation of Israel is going to have spiritual power to literally destroy the, the, these different armies, man. Their vehicle, their military vehicles, their military um, their military planes, choppers, you name it. Those satellite weapons. Of course, this would uh, put the icing on the cake here. I don't know if it's 54 verse 12 or verse 16. Uh, but whatever. Okay, so it, it is verse 16. No, verse 17. Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Why? Because the Lord's elect is going to have spiritual power. If somebody's shooting at you, you could just form a, a force field around your body and literally block against anything that come your way. Missiles, bullets, you know, you can literally create an impenetrable shield around you, protecting you from, from anything. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of, of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So it don't matter what these devils have. They can have Metal Storm 1000s. They can have lightning guns. They can have guns that shoot plasma bullets. It don't matter. It's not going to have any effect on the Lord's elect. These, these different exoskeleton suits that these soldiers have, it's going to have no effect on the Lord's elect. These different super soldiers that E got in his military, that got that, um, what's the name of that, that fucking beetle? The, the, the rhinoceros beetle, you know, they got some of that, that rhinoceros beetle, um, uh, beetle cells injected into their bodies, making them into like big buff, super strong super soldiers. Well, super soldiers are not going to have any effect on us in the, in those days either. I mean, Lord, I mean, Salakia. And again, I'm not saying I'm of the elect. I'm speaking of the Lord's elect, who's over they may be out there okay those super soldiers are not going to have any effect on the Lord's elect now let's get that Isaiah chapter 9 Isaiah 59 verse 19, so shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, 
west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Now let's look up that definition for standard here. Because anything that is carnal has no power over, over the spirit. Okay. Aha. Ra ra. Spirit. Ra ra. Ra ra. Oh, that, that's a ra ra ha. Ra ra ha. Racha. Oh yeah, that that do say Racha. I'm reading. I'm reading it um, incorrectly. It's Racha. Uh, so let's look up the definition for a uh, standard here, which is Nawas. As you see right there, Nawas. Nawas. Here we see to flee, escape, because in those days, martial law is going to try to, you know, surround our, um, our, our some of our houses. There's going to be like 20 choppers up in the air. There might be like 10 SUV trucks out there. Might be like 30 different um, militarized policemen or military men, you know, surrounding your house, ready to kick in your door, accusing you of being a terrorist. Okay, it says to fly. So in those times, the Lord is going to give certain of his elect men the spiritual power to fly, be able to fly and get about there, right? It says, to the attack on horseback, to drive at, to take flight. So you're going to fly. The Lord is going to give you the ability to fly about there, to, to put to flight, to drive hastily, to cause to disappear. Right, the Lord is going to give you the ability to turn invisible. You know, some of these devils, they have um, these, these, um, these x-ray things that can see through walls and shit. You know, see, see what you're doing. Well, when that time comes, the Lord's going to give you the ability to disappear off the radar. Okay, to cause to disappear, hide. So keep that in mind. The Lord's going to lift up a standard. Certain of his men is going to have spiritual power to, to uh, repel these uh the, the enemy when they come in like flood because let me tell you something when these troops come for jake they're going to come in large numbers man that's why the scriptures speak about the enemy coming in like a flood you know so as an israelite our blessing is spiritual so-called white man's blessing is carnal and temporal, but our blessing is spiritual, unique, and eternal. The so-called white man's blessing can only bring death and destruction. Our blessing is capable of bringing life as well as death or destruction. so-called white man's blessing is a carnal blessing which which was created by man's hands our blessing is spiritual which comes from on high from the heavens from from the heavenly father through his son Yahweh Shai you know, which which spiritual power is a um is a gift that is given from the heavenly father through his son which is gift which which is a gift given to the Israelites starting with the Lord's elect and spiritual power and through spiritual power you know we are able to create life as well as death the Lord's will you know we be of the elect with that I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one